Hi, my name's Eric J. Miller from Northwestern University's Nuance Center, and right now, let's talk about four different ways we can increase the resolution in the SEM. Number one, use a smaller aperture. The objective aperture will exclude the less coherent and stupider electrons as they travel down the column, preventing them from hitting your sample. So the smaller the aperture is, the more and more of the stupid electrons it will block, ensuring that only the smartest, most coherent electrons are making it onto your sample, increasing your resolution, but decreasing your signal. Number two, increase the condenser lens current. If we increase the current of the condenser lens, it will increase the electromagnetic field the lens is putting out, thus compressing the beam and excluding stray electrons. So the higher the condenser lens current, the fewer stupid electrons will hit your sample, thus increasing your resolution, but also decreasing your signal. In the olden days, SEMs usually had a knob on the microscope labeled something like CLC for condenser lens current or something similar. Turning it up meant that the lens current went up and the resolution went up and the signal went down. Turning it down meant the lens current went down, the resolution went down, and the signal went up, etc. Nowadays, most microscope manufacturers will label this control not as CLC, but as spot size or probe size or probe current or something like that. This label is the inverse or opposite of the condenser lens current. So a control that says condenser lens current is telling you what you're changing. A control that says probe current or spot size or something like that isn't telling you what you're changing, but the result you get from changing that control. For example, turning down the condenser lens current allows more electrons down the column, giving you a larger probe current or larger spot size. So to recap, a higher condenser lens current, which is a lower or smaller probe current, probe size or spot size, will give you better resolution, but lower signal. Number three, move the sample closer to the lens. The closer the sample is to the lens, the better resolution you get. There can be a number of reasons for this, but the main one is probably that the closer the beam is focused to the lens, the smaller the area of confusion is. This basically means that higher energy electrons will focus further away from where you want them to, and lower energy electrons will focus closer than you want them to. This is called the disk or area of least confusion. The further the beam is focusing away from the lens, the larger this area will be. So the closer the sample is to the lens, the smaller the disk of least confusion will be, thus giving you better resolution. Number four, adjust the accelerating voltage. The higher the accelerating voltage is, the smaller the wavelength of the electrons will be, which means you should be able to see smaller things. Also, you should have fewer aberrations in the beam at higher voltages. So theoretically, increasing the voltage will increase your resolution, and sometimes it does. Unfortunately, it doesn't always. The higher the voltage is, the further the beam will penetrate into the surface of your sample. So what will end up happening eventually is that as you increase the voltage in the microscope, more and more of the electrons that are forming your image are coming from deeper and deeper inside the sample. So you end up imaging below the surface of the sample, which also has the result of causing all your surface features to disappear. The heavier your sample is atomically, the more resistant it will be to this. Conversely, the lighter your sample uh, is atomically, the more pronounced this effect will be. So in some cases, a lower voltage will actually give you more details and more information than a higher voltage, even though the wavelength of the electrons is larger and the aberrations are more pronounced. So if you pay attention to those four things, you can increase the resolution in your microscope. And if you're having any problems getting good resolution out of any of our SEMs, make sure you find one of the Epic Lab Managers and we'll help you out. Thanks for watching.